the world needed a doctor. Dr. Dre's rise to fame Dr. Dre is one of the biggest names in the music industry and is responsible for launching the careers of a number of other influential artists. The rap icon is considered to be among the most shrewd and powerful forces in the world of rap music and is recognized as being among the most gifted, talented producers of our time. He has proved to be a ferocious force to be reckoned with in the world of business and entertainment as a whole and is among the most untouchable legends in his industry. However, all music reports that life wasn't always a tale of triumphs for Dr. Dre. He came from a dark past and rose to fame through hard work, tenacity, and his innate ability to know when to dart in and out of business ventures to create the perfect storm. Dr. Dre was raised by a single mother who faced a series of challenges while trying to raise her young family. She was just 15 years old when she conceived Andre Rommel Young, the man we all know now as being Dr. Dre. At the time that he was born, Dr. Dre's mother had just turned 16 and she was determined to raise her son well. She educated herself on parenting by reading psychology books and tried her best to be an incredible mother, which he to this day, recognizes. Soon after his birth, Dr. Dre's parents separated from one another, and his mother went through a series of abusive relationships, which deeply affected his life. Dr. Dre grew up surrounded by questionable influences. He associated with known drug dealers and spent most of his younger days getting well acquainted with the street hustle. He saw the tougher side of life and understood the struggle well before he made it big. Dre's street life in Los Angeles eventually led him to form NWA with Easier and Ice Cube in 1986. Together, their passion for music and their focused energy towards revolutionizing West Coast hip-hop could not be ignored. At the time that Dr. Dre really began to dive into the world of music, he was credited as being the first to go against the grain and move towards creating and defining the gangster rap culture. At the time, Public Enemy was in the forefront with their heavy political stance, and Dre came onto the scene with his unique G-Funk sound. NWA became known for celebrating the darker side of gang life with efficient lyrics, set against the background of unmatched rhythms. In 1992, Dr. Dre left NWA and alongside Suge Knight, he founded Death Row Records. He debuted the label with his song, Chronic, and immediately dominated the music scene. It took no time at all for the world of hip-hop to recognize that Death Row Records was the force of the 90s. Completely defining an era, Dr. Dre began to show how impactful his influence truly was in the world of music. Dr. Dre can clearly recall the moment he knew he was destined to work in the music industry. He was first inspired to get into music when he heard the Grandmaster Flash song The Adventures of Grandmaster Flash on the Wheels of Steel. He says that song inspired him to DJ and he immediately went to work to create mixtapes. As his career evolved, it became apparent that as a rapper, Dr. Dre was mediocre, at best. His delivery was slow and wasn't effective or convincing. However, as a producer, he was untouchable. He blended sounds and cultivated music effortlessly. This led to an entire career that has been established from the successful production of various artists and diverse music, making Dr. Dre the household name that he is today. Dr. Dre's footprint in the music industry is one that most could never compete with, let alone come close to. He and Warren G became stepbrothers when Dre's mother and Warren's father married one another, leading to the introduction of Snoop Dogg into Dre's life. Dre's keen ear for sound picked up on Snoop Dogg's talents and launched him to superstardom with a series of back-to-back -back hit singles and albums that went multi-platinum. Over time, Dre was also credited for cultivating the careers of Eminem, 50 Cent, Kendrick Lamar, and so many more talented artists. He has also signed on the likes of Busta Rhymes, The Game, Raekwon, Eve, John Connor, and Rakim. After four years of dominating the music scene with G-Funk, Dr. Dre's impeccable business mind recognized it was time to shift away from death row entirely. He went on to found Aftermath, which is considered one of the best moves of his career. There are too many high points and accolades in Dr. Dre's career to possibly make mention of them all. However, he had some big money moments that simply cannot be ignored. In 2001 he earned an astounding $52 million, by selling a portion of his shares in Aftermath Entertainment to Interscope Records. This move made him the second highest paid artist of that year. He went on to become named the highest paid musician in 2014, by Forbes. This was due largely to the fact that Dr. Dre sold his company Beats, to Apple for a huge $3 billion price tag. The sale meant that Dre saw a payout of $620 million. He then went on to make history by creating the biggest wage gap the industry had ever seen. 
he was sitting at the top as the highest paid earner, while Beyonce took the spot of number two. However, between the ranks of the number one and two spots, was a whopping half billion dollars in difference. Dr. Dre has maintained his position at the, the top of the charts, and will forever be admired for his tenacity, and his incredible ability to dominate the world of music with his incredible talents. He currently maintains a whopping $780 million net worth, and continues to reign supreme in the music industry.